the spring fishing season is upon us. Let me show you what I got going on in my tackle box. We'll just start from the top and work our way down through. First off, a measuring tape. Very handy for size restrictions. Uh, next, I got my slip sinkers. I have all kinds of sizes in there. I just uh, keep them in the one baggie so they don't take up a lot of room. And we got some split shot. I think these are all pretty much the same size. Got my pliers, multi-tool, uh, knife. I got these panfish hooks. I get them from Walmart for like 88 cents a pack or 20. Uh, I go through these things like crazy, especially at the local ponds. You hook a fish deep, you know, it's a cheap hook. No big deal to just cut the line. Uh, same thing, 88 cents. These are just a bigger size. I use these more for uh, bigger trout and catfish. And I got more than one. So I got a number four bait holder. It's the same brand. I just combined them so I didn't have two things. And the black, number four black octopus. I really like these black octopus. They could be a little sharper, but you can sharpen them yourself, too. Hookies. I just love this thing. You have your line rigged up on your rod. Put your hook in there when you're ready to go for the day. Lock it closed. And then you hook this on your rod. You can leave your rod rigged up. And you won't get a hook in the back seat of your car or tangled up in whatever's in your truck bed. Also... It's got a nice little line cutter right there on the back. So, yeah, love me a hookies. Next, we got some fly floatant gel. I do occasionally use flies. Okay. Next up, I just have this little thing I can clip on my belt or whatever, on my vest. And it's got some clippers for clipping line. And it's got this cool little thing. So you put your hook on there like that. The little, that's a little magnet holds it in. So it won't fall out. And then you can see there, it's all set. And then you come over here and you can thread your line through that hook eye. Nice and easy. So that's just what I have on there. I have some, a little bit of line for like putting leaders on. It's four pound. I usually prefer to have two pound for most of the fish that I catch. But they were out of two pound. Plus, I'm hoping to catch some bigger fish. So, I got this four pound today to go in there. And final thing up here. Just a leader straightener. Definitely comes in handy when fly fishing. Alright, so down on this lower level, I have a couple jigs, a little crawfish jig, and green worm. I've caught some good sized cutthroats on the crawfish, and I've caught some smallmouth bass on this grub here. I got these, so I got black, white, and chartreuse. I've done pretty good with those. And here's just a miscellaneous bag of all kinds of different jigs. Um, I'm not even sure where I got some of them. Got some marabou jigs. Just a bunch of different jigs. And then we've got some bubbles. I use these with uh, my fly fishing. Mostly in the summer and mostly on ponds and lakes. Especially in the Uinta Mountains. Uh, you can do pretty good with a dry fly in the summer. Or a bubble like that. And then I've got my regular bobbers. 
most people fish with way too big of a bobber. Uh, I like these little ones. Personally, I don't care for these plastic ones, but they were all I could find at the time. Uh, I'm not even, I think I found this one out at a lake somewhere. As, as little as this is, it actually works really well. The fish can't fill it as well. So I've got a variety of sizes of bobbers. Um, this one is one of my favorites. It's solid foam. The weight on the bottom helps you cast it farther. So, yeah, those are my favorite kind of bobbers. I need to get some more. We have these little grubs. I got these off the Wish app. I think they were like $2 for the whole pack. The cream one here looks the most like a wax worm, and I found it to be the best one. I just picked this up at Walmart the other day. It's a, a hook remover, I guess. Um, I've never used one. In fact, it was 97 cents. So I thought, why not give it a try? Might make it easier getting hooks out. Stringer. I haven't had this in my tackle box for a while, and I've kind of missed it. Uh, I want to start keeping more fish and trying more fish and recipes and stuff. So it's in the tackle box now. Washcloth. Spongebob. <laughs> Comes in handy for getting fish slime off your hands. Hand warmers. Um, Springtime, it's easy to underestimate how cold it's going to be. So I got these in case it gets cold. I got these little worms off of the Wish app too. It was They were like a dollar or two for the pack. And these really work pretty good. Fish believe that it's a worm and they bite. They hold on to this a little better than the grubs, actually. I've caught quite a few fish on these. My fishing license. It's in two different plastic baggies to keep it from getting wet. All right, so we got that out. And there's my licenses. So this is just yarn. I crocheted it myself to hopefully keep my licenses protected. And I've had it for probably over 10 years now. Power bait, swim baits. I've caught a few smallmouth with these. We got this Potsky fire bait. I've never tried it before. And I'm excited to give it a try this spring. I've got Zeke's Sierra Gold garlic trout bait here. Um, I've been using it, you can kind of tell. And it's been doing pretty good. Uh, some days it works really good and other days not so much, but I'd say it's definitely on par with like power bait Next we got some corn This is just regular canned corn. I just put a little in this uh, Potsky salmon egg jar that was empty and There's still salmon egg juice in there. So it gives it a little bit of a fishy flavor I've been doing pretty good with corn on the local trout ponds lately. So the rest of the can of corn I just put in a zip baggie in the freezer. And whenever this jar is empty I'll just break off a little chunk and put it in there. And I thought it was a handy way to carry my corn. We got Potsky salmon eggs. These things are a staple for fishing for trout, especially rainbow trout. The rainbow trout love salmon eggs. Okay, I got some of these gulp pinched night crawler. It looks like a little piece of a worm. I've had mixed success. I, I haven't done very good with them, but the other day fishing was slow. I thought, well, let me try this. And they bit it every time on the way down. Um, in fact, you can see my dad caught this fish here. So yeah, these definitely can work. Next, we got a couple of these salty crawling grub jigs from Arky. Um, these were on the clearance too. If you didn't see that video, you should check it out. I'll put a link in the card here. I've caught some big uh, fish off that other crawfish jig I showed you. And I thought these would be probably similar. So I wanted to give them a try. We got my fly box. Um, it's not huge. I don't have a ton of flies because I don't fly fish that much. But I got some uh, woolly buggers and muddler minnow. I got this little popper. That thing's 
fun when the fish will bite it. I got some pistol peats. I really like pistol peats. I forget what that one is, but it's good. Mosquito. I do really well in the Uinta Mountains for small brook trout with mosquito flies. Parachute Adams and a Royal Coachman. So that's my little fly box. I'm hoping to get a few more of these uh, by summer, but for now that's what I've got. And then lastly we have this little box here. I just got some lure. This box is my stream fishing box. So I have it in here in my tackle box, but if I was just going to fish a stream, wanted to wear my vest, I could just grab this little box and put it in my vest. So we have a little rainbow trout looking lure, and this, I think is that called fire tiger? Something like that. I haven't caught any fish on either of these. I got them for the Flaming Gorge trip. The little bit that I have used them, I haven't caught anything off with them. I got some blue fox spinners. I think I found these in, in a tree or something somewhere. Same thing with this spoon. This thing, a Jake Spinalure. And a couple of smaller ones. Especially the smaller one. It does really good at in the Uena Mountains. Especially the red... The silver with the red spots. I think they sell a gold one too. I've always done better with the silver. And then the other side. So we got two sides of this box. The other side has more smaller stuff. I've got a few Marabu jigs. Got a little Rapala. Is it Rapala or Rapala? <laughs> Me and my dad always joke about that. Um, I got some Panther Martins. Panther Martins are probably the one spinner that I've caught the most fish on. It may just be that that's the spinner that I I've always used the most. So this lure I actually found in the throat of another fish that I caught. Some more Panther Martin. I think this is a Panther Martin too, but I can't remember. I just have a couple extra swivels. Got a maps, and then over here, one of those swim baits, and a couple more Panther Martins. I think that one's a maps. We've done pretty good with this red one, red and yellow. And then I've done go good with uh, this one, this gold with black dots. Hey, thanks for watching and be sure and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you can see how all this fishing gear will help me catch fish this season. Thanks again and see you in the next video.